short little video here. It's going to be a real quick one. Um, on the intro and the, that uh, for John Riley off the uh, Birds Fifth Dimension album, um, there was a, a few requests for that, if, uh, that little uh, uh, riff in the verses he does. Um, uh, I'm going to show you what I do when I play it, because I think there's two guitars playing it, so um, uh, I'll, I'll show you as best I can what uh, what I do on it. It's, it's like it's in it's actually in the key of D minor. Okay, so so the intro and, and I'll and I'll show you the right hand here, and then we'll move up to the left. So I'll show you the the, uh, the right hand, the picking hand. Uh, the the first uh, notes is is, is going to be all down picked. All down pick within within the thumb pick, and that goes. And that's the intro. I'll do it slow. And slow. In that lick right after that, you can use that. There's that lick goes. Uh, it's just been used in many songs over the years. But uh, it's in, like I said, it's in a, it's in a D minor. It's just a pattern. So so that so that lick goes. Let me see if I can get it here. It's in the key of D minor. And it goes. Uh, Tempo is going to go like this. phone in here a little closer so you can see that picking pattern. Let's try it here. <clears throat> That's the way the one one lick goes. The, the, the one lick goes... actually two in there. The first lick goes and the second one right after that goes Pattern of notes. It's just all done with the uh, the thumb and the and the index finger. And you can change it up. Nice little thing for for a minor key. So um, once again, the lick goes. Okay, we'll move over to, over to the 
left hand here. And what I'm doing instead of instead of giving the, playing the D minor shape like that, like your regular D minor, I'm not doing that. I'm playing a D chord, but I'm not playing the top E at all, the the high E. So it's 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 muted. So you're just playing fifth, so it doesn't get your third in there. Ah, uh, so if you know to give you your if you put your D in, it's going to sound major. You don't want that, so you just want your three notes. Uh, your D, your fourth, fifth. So all you're playing is a, a D, A, D, Dad. So I'm, I'm just using a D, a D chord, like that. And it just seems like it, it's easier to move the middle finger to get them notes for it. So I just... Once again... Kind of hammering off on that F note, so that those notes that you're using is an F. Not that it's it's pretty simple. It's just a matter of getting the uh, the timing and, and your and your roll going. It's uh. And that's that's uh that that works out really good with the tune John Riley. And I'll go over the uh, t uh, the right hands. It starts it, for the notes. It starts on the third fret A. Once again. You know, play these notes. I mean, it doesn't have to be John Roddy, but if you're doing a song on the key of D minor, you're looking for something to play. And remember, when you use that D shape, there, don't hit, don't hit your last string, because you'll make it a major. You want to keep it a minor. You want to stay in a minor key. So it goes. And uh, that's it. Um, uh, once again, I'll, I have a little bit of time here, so I'll, I'll go back to the, to the right hand and do it real slow. Real slow for everybody. But, uh, it's, it's a fun little thing to do if you're looking for a thing to play in like D minor. So it goes, remember, you, you just use your, uh, you use your D chord, but you don't play your top note. That's just about it. Uh, thanks for watching and listening, and I'll see everybody soon. And uh, like I said, if you have any uh, 
request on any of the videos I have up on my uh, YouTube channel, uh, uh, send me an email. My email is uh, Gary W. Jacob at Comcast.net. And I will gladly uh, get back to you as quick as possible uh, and answer any questions you guys have about uh, this finger picking stuff. And uh, it's a lot of fun to play once you get the hang of it. So, uh, once again, that goes. Once again, any questions, uh, please feel free to send me an email uh, or PM on the Rick, uh, private message on the Rick, Rick and Becca Resources Forum, or just send me an email, Gary W. Jacob at Comcast.net, and I'll, be happy, I'll get back to you as quick as possible and be more than happy to answer any questions anybody has out there on any of this stuff. Um, and I'll see you soon. Take care.